welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you the technique print and cut to make tags and labels using a printer and Cameo 3. Now let's begin. First I'm going to show you how to print and cut using free images that came with my Cameo 3. Go to library. I'm going to use this design. Modify the dimensions, open the transformation panel. I want the height to be 3 inches. Close the lock to keep the changes proportional. Click on ungroup. Change the line color. Go to the line style panel. Select black. Also change the thickness to 2. Select all, go to the transformation panel and click on align center. If you are going to print the color of the tag, it is essential to add a bleed. Go to the offset panel, select the tag, click on offset, type 0 0.05 in the distance. Now, Fill it with the same color of the tag. I'm also going to change the line color to gray so I can select not to cut this line color later. Now open the page panel. As you can see I'm using leather size paper 8.5 by 11 inches. Now I'm going to add the registration marks. Select Cameo. The dimensions of the printable area are going to vary based on the size of paper you use. Place as many tags as possible within the printable area. Open the replicate panel. I'm going to cover the area with tags. Now send it to print. Make sure to define all your desired settings. My printer doesn't have an option to print medium cardstock. The closest thing to it for my printer is going to be the matte photo paper. Quality best. Now send it to print. Now I'm going to send it to cut. Select the action by line. This allows me to choose an action for each line color. I don't want the gray line to be cut, so I'm going to uncheck the gray line box. Same with the black line. The red line is the one that defines the tag outline and the opening. It is the only one I want to use to cut. The material is cardstock, the action is cut, and the tool is the auto blade. The settings are the default, speed 4, force 20, and passes 1. Now send it. As you can see, these are the registration marks and they tell Cameo where to cut. Load the mat. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut these tags took about 1 minute 40 seconds. Remove the tags from the mat. As you can see, the tag look excellent. And there is no white border because I use a bleed. I'm going to print another tag, this time in color cardstock. For this, I don't need a bleed. Go to the fill panel and change it to none. I'm going to change the design to another. Go to the library. Select the made with love design. Reduce the dimensions. Since I want the image to be print, I'm going to add a film color and change the line color. Select all and align them in the center. Select all and group them. I'm going to fill the printable area with tags. Keep in mind the cutting lines are not going to be print. Now send it to print. I'm using the same settings I used in the previous job. Now send it to cut. 
As you can see, there are two lines, a red and a pink line. I'm going to uncheck the pink line box. Now only the red line is going to be cut. The material is cardstock, the action is cut, and the tool is the auto blade. The settings are the default, now send it. As I mentioned, the cutting line is not going to be print. Cameo is going to read the registration marks to cut the tags. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut these tags took about two minutes. Remove the tags from the mat. As you can see, the cut is excellent. Sometimes it is necessary to add a bleed. For example, for example, I printed these tags in white cardstock and used a 0.05 bleed to avoid having a white border around the tags. I printed these tags in color cardstock so I didn't have to add a bleed. Now I'm going to show you how to make this tag from the beginning using Silhouette Studio. First, add a rectangle with rounded corners. Now add another one. And add a circle. Select the three pieces, open the transformation panel, and click on Align Center. Now open the Modify panel and click on Weld. Add a circle. Open the transformation panel and align it in the center. Open the modify panel and click on make it. Fill the tag with text. I'm going to use the Aravela font. Change the fill and line color to black. Now I'm going to use Gaudi. Change the fill and the line color to black. For the rest of the text, I'm going to use Century. I'm also going to add a heart shape. Change the fill and the line color to black. I'm going to add an image from my library. Reduce the dimensions. Change the line color to black. Also add a thickness, 0.7. If you forget to add a thickness, you are not going to print anything. Now select all and click on Align Center. I'm going to delete this tag and I'm going to repeat the same steps I did with the previous tags. Remember the cat line is not going to be print. Send it to print. As you can see, the cutting line was in print. Now I'm going to send it to cut. Use the action by line and check the black line box. The red line is the only one I want to cut. The material is cardstock, the action is cut, the tool out the blade. The settings are the default, now click on send. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process to cut these tags took about 2 minutes. Remove the tags from the mat. As you can see, they look great. It is essential that you understand how cutting lines work. I'm going to give you an example. Go to library, select the stroller design. Reduce the dimensions. As you can see, the stroller has a red outline. 
this is a cutting line. This line is not going to be print. Now go back to library, select little one, reduce the dimensions. This red outline is a cutting line. If you send it to print, you are not going to print anything. If you want to print it, you need to change the line color and add a film. I'm going to use color cardstock, so I'm going to change the stroller fill color to white. Go back to the library and add a couple more labels. These are great to decorate cupcakes. I'm going to add some text. I'm going to duplicate these labels and send them to print. Keep in mind the cutting line is not going to be print. As I mentioned, the cutting line wasn't printed. Send it to cut. I don't want the black line to be cut, so I'm going to uncheck the box. The only line that is going to be cut is the red one. The material is cardstock, the action is cut, and the tool is the auto blade. Send it. I fast forwarded this part of the video. The process to cut these labels took about two minutes. Remove the labels. As you can see, they look great. The same with this label. You can only print on color cardstock if the color doesn't obstruct the reading of the registration marks. So I recommend avoiding using dark colors. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in a Cameo 3 or a printer, I'm going to leave you the links where you can buy them in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.